Introduction to the new check-in, check-out and generate group invoice in Softin PMS. Hello Softin PMS user. Check out this video to learn about the new check-in, check-out and generate group invoice process in Softin PMS. Imagine that your hotel has an incoming check-in guests of three person today, to villa room for one night. Let's proceed to check in the guest now. How to check in the guest. Log in to Softin PMS. Select the correct property. Upon the arrival of the guest, you can go to the arrival tab to check in the guest. Click on the check in button. You will see an express check in pop up window. Click on the check in now button if you are good to check in this reservation without editing needed. On the express check in window, you can see a reminders if you have not collected a security deposit for this reservation or the room charges have not been paid. If you would like to edit the reservation before you check in the guest, click on the edit pencil icon. You will be redirected to the guest check-in page. From this page, you are able to update the room guest details, number of packs staying in this room and room guest name, even leave a check-in notes, if any. You also will see the reminder security deposit is not collected for the reservation. In this example, let's update the number of packs staying in this room and also add the room guest details before you check in the reservation. Click on the human icon on the page, and you will be redirected to the room guest and notes tab. To update the number of packs, click on the pencil icon. Key in the number of packs, in this example, the number of packs is 3 adults. Once done, click on the green tick icon. To add the room guest details, click on the add guest button. Insert the guest details. Click on the check-in tab to go back to the guest check-in page. In this example, you saw there is a reminder saying security deposit is not collected. You may click on the folio number to go to the guest folio and add the security deposit collected. If you need to adjust the actual arrival date and time, remember to update the arrival date and time before you click on the check-in button. Once you are ready to check in the reservation, proceed to click on the proceed to check-in button. You have successfully checked in the guest. Your guest will check out today. Let's proceed to check out the reservation. How to check out the guest. Upon the departure of the guest, you can go to the departure tab to check out the guest. Click on the check out button. You will see an express checkout pop up window. On the express checkout window, you will be alerted by reminders, if any, on the issues section. If no alert was flagged by the system, then you are allowed to express check out the reservation by clicking on the check out now button. The system will alert you when security deposit has not been refunded in folio and the charges have not been fully paid or folio balance is not zero. Go to the respective folio from the reservation page to settle the issue before you could check out the reservation. Alternatively, you may click on the edit pencil icon on the express checkout window. You will be redirected to the guest checkout page. From the guest checkout page, click on the folio number to go to the respective guest folio. If you need to adjust the actual departure date and time, remember to update the departure date and time before you click on the checkout button. Once you are ready to check out the reservation, proceed to click on the proceed to checkout button. You have successfully checked out the guest. After you have checked out your guest, you can proceed to generate invoices and print or email it to the guest. How to generate invoice. On the reservation page, Click on the blue dock icon to generate an invoice or group invoices. Tick on the checkbox to select the reservations that you would like to generate invoices. Click on the blue tick icon. You will be redirected to generate invoices page to generate invoices. Under the invoice section, you can click on the edit pencil icon to assign the name that you want the invoice to be issued on. You can select the invoice to be issued on the name of the main contact name or the room guest names, if any. Once done, click on the Save Changes button. For guest subfolio, please proceed to generate the subfolio invoices from the guest folio page instead. Click on the Yes, Generate Invoices Now button to generate the invoice. Click on the folio icon to go to the guest folio. You can print or email the invoice to the guest. 
For the subfolio, you can generate the invoice by clicking on the Generate Invoice button. You can select the invoice to be issued on the name of the main contact name or the room guest name, if any. Click on the Generate Invoice button. Hello, thank you for watching. I am Vanya, I am a first tech developer on the software's product team. I design as well as develop solutions for the company.